Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis based on the KTU syllabus and uh, we are on module 6. Today we are going to discuss different methods of improving transient stability of a system. Okay, what are the different uh, available methods for improving the transient stability? So actually the transient stability depends on the type and location of a fault. Okay, that is, uh, let us consider the most severe type of fault that is three phase fault. Okay, we can consider three phase fault, uh, and uh, in that case, an increase in the inertia constant m. Okay, an increase in inertia constant m of a single machine connected to infinite bus reduces the angle through which the rotor swings in a given time interval. Actually, uh, that sentence, okay, the uh, sentence is mainly depending upon the swing equation. Based on the swing equation, we are uh, saying that actually, we know the uh, in terms of m, in terms of m, we can write the uh, swing equation as that is m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus pe and from that d square delta by dt square will be equal to pm minus pe by m okay so uh, if we are if we are increasing the value of m that is the moment of inertia inertia constant m of a single machine so we know that using this equation uh, it reduces if you are increasing the value of m it will reduces the angle delta okay the rotor angle through which the rotor sinks in a given time interval so hence the stability can be improved by increasing the value of m okay so that's the point I want to uh, convey to you but uh, it cannot be normally it cannot be employed in practice because of the economic reasons and all okay actually the increasing m will have an undesirable effect of slowing down the response of the speed governor loop okay so uh, normally we are not uh, employing that technique uh, and it can be proved that for a given clearing angle okay for a given clearing angle delta c the acceleration area decreases but the deceleration area increases as the maximum power limit of a power angle curve is raised which improves the transient stability limit of the system which it is based on the uh, equal area criterion we have already discussed and we can say some methods okay some methods of improving the transient stability limit of a power system so first one is increase of system voltages that is use of automatic voltage regulators avia second one is use of high speed excited systems third one is red reduction in system transfer reactants and next one is use of high speed reclosing breakers okay so in that the first one actually the automatic voltage regulators the, so during fault the voltage reduction of all buses at the governor terminals th that is the generator sorry the generator terminals are sensed by the automatic voltage regulators using this avia we can sense the reduction in voltages at the generator terminals which help to restore the generator voltage okay so that's the use of this automatic voltage regulator with that we can uh, repack the stability okay stability can be achieved and uh, modern exciter systems okay the modern exciter uh, systems having solid state controls which quickly respond to bus voltage reduction solid state devices are using maybe using in that exciters and all so it will sense the uh, voltage reduction and based on that it can act okay that is actually written here uh, modern exciter systems and uh, 
the transfer and then another important point is the reduction transfer reactions with that we can improve the stability okay so the transfer reactants can be reduced to improve the stability limit incidentally this also raises system voltage profile so the reactance of a transmission line can be decreased by first one is by reducing the conductor spacing second one by increasing the conductor diameter so using that two uh, methods the reactance of the transmission line can be decreased okay and the compensation for line reactance by series capacitors is an effective and economical method of increasing stability limits okay specifically for transmission lines more than 350 kilometers and such a series capacitors are also uh, can be employed okay uh, it will decrease the fluctuation of load voltages and uh, uh, raise the transition stability limit to a value almost equal to the steady state limit okay so that are the uh, some methods and the recent methods of improving stability uh, recently we are using the first one is hdc links okay so increased use of hdc links employing thigh resistors normally we will be using the semiconductor switch thigh resistors in that okay would deviate the stability problem that is we can reduce the uh, can improve the stability okay uh, dieseling is as you as we know uh, there is no risk of a fault in one system causing loss of stability in the other system okay so that, that is the main advantage here and the second one is second one of the recent method is breaking resistors okay so for improving stability where clearing is delayed or large load is suddenly lost a resistive load called a breaking resistor is connected at or near the generator bus so this load this resistive load compensate for some of the reduction of load on the generators so that are breaking resistors and uh, we are we are using this bypass valves also okay bypass valving technique so in this method the stability of a unit is improved by decreasing the mechanical input power to the turbine okay this is by decreasing the pm that is mechanical power input okay with that we can uh, improve the stability okay and the next one is the fourth method is full load rejection technique okay so the we know that the fast valving combined with high speed clearing Okay, high speed clearing time will sufficiently uh, maintain the stability in most of the cases okay so however there are still situations where stability is difficult to maintain so to remedy these situations a full load rejection scheme could be utilized after the unit is separated from the system okay so to do this the unit has to be equipped with a large steam bypass system actually we are using a bypass separate steam bypass system here okay so uh, we are using a bypass system and suddenly we are uh, uh, rejecting that load okay that is we are losing that load here so after system has recovered from the shock caused by the fault the unit could be resynchronized and reloaded so the main disadvantage is the extra cost of this large bypass system okay that is the main disadvantage here uh, so these are the four recent methods okay for improving stability to diesel links and the braking resistors and bypass valving and full load rejection technique so i hope all of you understand the topic well so 